Hello, welcome. This is my life for Iron. Today, I'm gonna show you a TVT at Diamond Three level gameplay. In this game, uh, I'm on the top right corner, and my opponent's uh, is bottom left. And in this game, we both win for Mech. Uh, well, most people go for Bio as Terran, but it's uh, relatively rare that both Terran go for Mech. It's fun. Let's see how I played and let's learn from the mistake I made and as well as mistake my opponent made. So pretty much the opening was identical, was mirror. We did exactly the same thing except that he went into my main to scout and I blocked his natural expansion, which which delayed his expo for quite a while. You can see here. I blocked his SCV and killed it. And finally, he put his uh, uh, expansion, but it was a little bit sl uh, slower behind me already. So at this point, I got a Reaper. Where's my Reaper? My Reaper is here, and he's got a Reaper as well on the ramp. All right, let's see the Reaper action. Yeah, because he was he wasn't looking so. I took advantage of the grenade and killed that Reaper. And he has no units at all at home. So at this point, he's building. Oh, he's not even building Marines. He's swapping. <laughs> all right. I could have gone into the main. So I was kind of scared of, uh, you know, Hellions on the ramp, like instant kill me. So I didn't want to just jump on the ramp, but actually, I think I should. To scout, if I see ah uh, he has no units, I can do some more harass and see what what is he building, and I would know that he was going for a mech, at least a little hint. But I did a lot of work with the Reaper here. You can see from the uh, income tab, he has like a half my income because my natural is done in mining with Muse, and he has been delayed for uh, like a. Well, how long it has been? Two minutes? At least one minute, something. So I have a uh, eight worker lead. All right, let's see how it plays out. So at this point, I know he has Hellions. So I was getting a Cyclone to counter the Hellions. What else is noticed? Uh, no interesting thing, anything. I was scouting with the Hellions. I was at a huge worker lead, almost 10 worker lead. So quite a quite quite a lot ahead. But my opponent went for push. Since he was delayed, he, his economy was behind, so he went for maybe two base push. I was trying to make it up for what he lost. So here was a little bit sloppy, my cyclone got killed, my healing got killed, everything got killed. I should have run earlier instead of engaging these healings. I kind of over uh, underestimated the healings. I did a little bit of liberator harass, which didn't do much, killed one worker, nothing remarkable. Total worker kill, 4 to 0. Yes, so he's been building up uh, quite a sizable unit uh, army, and I've been doing expansion. <clears throat> I got a third, and all the command is on the way. So the entire game, actually, I was on a huge economy lead. Uh, as you will see later in the game, I constantly have more workers than he does. Not by a little bit, but by a lot, which, which uh, to some degree, uh, helped me win the game and pretty much my macro won, my, won me the game because he did a really early push it was kind of scary here he got a tank, he got air control, he got everything and I was just putting my third here alright let's see how this plays out mm. siege up his tank here and I siege up my tank here So at this moment, I'm just trying to pump out as many units as I c 
could since I have enough economy, am I still building SCVs? Yes, I'm still building SCVs. Yeah, my opponent is not building SCVs at all. Um, yeah. So he did a little contain. contain. Um, actually, I'm not sure if he could push. He could totally go the other, from the other angle, from this angle, get in here. To push this way instead of getting uh, trying to get in this way because I have this ramp, this ramp. So that's a little bit of miscalculation from my opponent part. At this point, you can see I backed up so much mineral because I can't spend them and uh, I don't have enough gas to build more siege tanks. That's a little problem for me. So I have to uh, keep pumping out the Hellions even though they're quite useless. In, in this situation my opponent is um, finally resumed uh, SCV build, building is he getting no he's ah uh, yeah he's getting a third right now has eight minutes mark it's really 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 late for Mac player so he he has to do something he has he had to do some damage with this this army otherwise he's just way too behind to come back. Alright, he is seeking a different angle. So he's trying to go around this ramp to come around from here to attack. But since he has no medevac, he cannot drop his uh, tank up, up on the ramp and he it's just very difficult to siege up this, this area. And he got nothing really significant here. I can rebuild starport here. I've got the uh, I've got my uh, factory over there, so it's pretty much if he, yeah, he sieged up here, which didn't do much damage, it's just being annoying. I could totally just clear out this region and just don't bother and and continue ma continue macroing. And, you know. and this, I, I took a very bad fight right into the siege tank, I shouldn't do that. My control was very sloppy. My control was like, oh, which one do I click? Which one do I click? I click the siege tank. I, I misclick and, and just misclick everything. Um, yeah, I even got a fourth and fifth. I got five CC before his orbital, third orbital command even finishes. So I was at really really hell you can see I have 65 workers against 46 and I got an air control very nice here air control is very important so he has to constantly scan in order to you know hit anything at all so uh, it's a really wasting of a mineral for him he's not he's not using meals and it is just a little bit awkward situation I saw there are a lot of tanks I cannot just simply run into them because if he just use one scan he can t completely uh, destroy all my tanks if I run forward so we keep a little bit nice little distance so I can hit you you can hit me kind of like North Korea and South Korea uh, and I got air control here which is very important so he won't get the uh, liberators <coughs> And here I meant to build a planetary fortress here, but uh, I was a little bit slow. I was f too much focused on this side, which lead to later a disaster. He run these hellions in and killed a lot of workers. All right, I drew his tanks away finally. All right, that's good for me. Yeah, uh, this is this is where he run the hellions inside. I killed a lot of workers. Let's check. It's almost 20 workers. Killed almost 20 workers is, is a big deal. But <laughs> actually, actually, we both banked up so much it doesn't really matter in, at this point. We just, I can just keep rebuilding SCVs, which I did. So um, I'm trying to secure this location. Another PF. Yes, another planetary fortress, and he's got only three bases. That is a big no-no for Mac player. You have to expand faster. 
fa way faster than this. I don't know what he probably put all his money into siege tanks, and he didn't do much because he has no air control, which is a huge mistake by him. Imagine if he had uh, more Vikings out and killed my Vikings, and he can just simply put a siege tank here and uh, slowly chip away all my buildings and units and territory. Okay, I did another uh, healing run by, a counter run by. Okay, you did it to me, so I do it to you. Uh, and I also managed to do a lot of damage, and he probably he didn't. Yeah, he was looking. He was looking, but he didn't re react as fast. I mean, he he didn't have units at home, so. So total war count, uh, total war killed is 15, which is not bad. I didn't do as many damage, as much damage as he did because he didn't have as many workers in the first place. So, all right, he cleared this rocks and uh, trying to push from this angle. Okay, I, I, what I would do is to split, split up this unit, this army, put some here and push from both angles or even here. Or just simply siege up from here. Ah, uh, he has no air control. He's gonna get blasted away. So yeah, he can't do anything. That's why air control is important. Let's see this fight. All right. I had, I had very bad estimation of the siege tank range. Like I don't know where to stop the siege tank to siege up. I completely destroyed his Vikings. Yeah, ah, uh, they got hit and they run forward. That's so bad. So much unnecessary loss. I don't think I could land Vikings. That's definitely an option. But I think with this amount of siege tanks, he can sim. If I land it, he will simply blast them away okay he's trying to take a different angle uh, it wasn't working out so well you can see like a third of tanks was blasted away by my siege tank down the ramp and I trying to follow up try to catch him can't let him run for free no way All right, he got more tanks he got even more tanks here all right so it's Tank versus tank, typical TVT, right there. All right, got some turrets. So my strategy was going for the liberators. Did I start building liberators at the point? Yeah, I already have one. So since he has no air control whatsoever, I can just abuse liberator, right? I can just siege up. And the, he can't do anything about it. That's, so that's that's the point. So he was forced to retreat. He has to run. And I could have unseized all the tank and just follow up and kill him. At first, I put Liberator here, siege up Liberator here, and then push all the tanks forward. And just simply kill him. Um, but yeah, let him go. Well, actually, I maybe I don't have enough tanks. I think. It's Quite even, yeah. It's quite even. But his upgrade was uh, always ahead of me the entire game. I should really improve my upgrade. Like I, I, some, I'm just so lazy to go back to upgrade. Also for Mac, I'm, I'm not sure how important it is for Mac, uh, Mac units to get upgrade. Like it's. An, uh, they don't scale up as much as bio, okay, marine, because they shoot fast. And mech, they already have a huge dam, very uh, huge damage. Like uh, if you see drop the tank deals eighty R da damage to armor units, and even if you upgrade it, it gets to a five. So it's not mm, a huge improvement. So I, sometimes I just kind of lazy. All right, so I landed some Vi Viking to harass. Since we're not doing anything, why not kill some workers? 
So at this point, I killed 27 workers. Not bad, not bad. I should just run away with the Vikings instead of landing here to kill this tank. It's totally not worth it. He drew all his tanks back to the base. And he got the Vikings ready. And he killed almost all my Vikings. Bad. It was bad. Okay, so I landed Viking. Actually, I landed Viking here as well. Kill some uh, more additional ICVs. So one, two, three. Yeah, kill three. Killed four. All right, but that's all right. I can easily uh, rebuild all those Vikings, right? But then my opponent he realized air control is important, so he started getting a lot of Vikings, right? And I just lost all my Vikings. So in the following fights, he will see that. I it was completely opposite, like my opponent had the entire uh, air control, but uh, uh, I couldn't do anything. Even though I had liberators, it was useless because he, his Vikings simply shut it down. But uh, uh, let's see. At this point, I have this base up and running, even a planetary fortress here. Uh, we're fighting here. He was. AFK for a while, so he's pulling back his units because I have C uh, siege up the liberators. Slowly pushing, and I saw him sieging up, so I retreat a little bit. Uh, this is bad. I these two Vikings, why are they wandering around there? Alright, uh, look at this, so one, two, three, this one is mined out, I have four, this one is mined out, three and a half bases, I'd say, he has one, he's mining only from, right, he's pretty much only mining on one base economy, All right. one and a half, let's say, so his economy is way behind, right? At this point, the most important thing is actually gas. Who can control more gas, who get more gas, who will win. Because the mineral is way too abundant. So at this point, since I, I don't have time to pump out the Vikings, so I thought, um, let's just get Thors. Right. My Vikings simply get destroyed. And um, he couldn't do anything because he didn't have the economy. He couldn't pump out all those tanks I had. Yeah, he had a smaller army, so he can't just simply move forward because I have enough scan to to see the end of the fight. No problem. All right, we should see some Thor coming out. I hope. Yeah, I am starting building five Thors. Oh my god, these five, uh, these uh, six siege tanks did a lot of work here. You can see, I sniped two tanks, three tanks, three tanks, uh, and uh, yeah, disrupted his production a little bit. It's pretty nice. Kill some SMVs here. He already didn't have many SMVs. Now he has only how many? His loot. Now this is a huge mistake. This is a huge mistake. He's pulling the entire army back to save this base, right? So he, he completely gave way, give access to my main army here. So this is a point he was uh, he was uh, baited. He took the bait and uh, yeah, got wrecked from here. A tank is sieged, and here easily sieged up. All right. So as you can see, his upgrade is way ahead. But the most important thing is you have more stuff. And this one, my Thor's coming out. Very nice. I'm gonna kill all the Vikings and then regain the air control. One Thor got blasted away. Two Thor got blasted away. No, I'll move back. Yeah. I wasted two Thors. Alright. So it's just slow and painful push for him. He's trying to land his Vikings, but it didn't work that well. 
Let's speed it up a little bit. Now this part is nothing special. I still got a huge bank and he doesn't have enough money to rebuild anything. I wanted to just push and kill him, but I didn't realize there, there are so many tanks on the ramp, so I kind of lost half my army, which is really bad. Should have scanned here. I, did, I didn't even think that he would have units, right? So at this point, oh my gosh, he has, he has only five... Look at this income. He has near zero income. And I can easily, easily rebuild anything I want. I even dropped mule. Right? Gotta BM a little bit. No, I was fixing my stuff. Anyway, he's getting more expansions. At this point, it was really late. It was really late. You shouldn't be getting... I mean, uh, you have already been cornered. So... Should have got that expansion much, much earlier. That's a game here. Right, managed to kill more SCVs and and uh, disrupt his uh, disrupt his uh, mining. Yeah, he had to run. He can't protect it, or can he? Yeah, he's sieging up. But that's that's uh, that's not gonna do much. He's coming back. Okay, okay. And I, yeah, I remember I ran some uh, tanks and uh, thrust this way as well. So he got no mining. And I actually sniped this uh, this command center. And he saw this probably, he panicked. Oh, how many bases do you have? Yeah, I have the entire thing. The entire map is mine. <laughs> Alright, so I just send my aliens here, make sure he doesn't come back. And that's the GG. He scanned, he saw my army. It's a huge army he can't beat. So, all right. So that's the game, and uh, what we learned: some sort of engagement, right? The early game, and uh, and definitely I could transfer the SCVs better. Transfer them here, here. I get even more income, and put down some sensor tower at this location, right? This area. So very nice, and also this part was sloppy. Remember, he killed almost twenty workers. It was really sloppy defense from me. I should have built the planetary fortress much earlier, and also react faster, not fixated on one side of the map. That's a uh, that's a problem. All right, that's that's today's uh, TVT ladder game, Diamond Three level. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like. See you next time.